bring in Mahjoub Zawadi. He's a professor of contemporary Middle East at Qatar University, and he joins me now live from Doha. Thank you for being with us on the program. Uh, I mean, a lot of pressure is being put on these administrations, also on the U.S. government itself. Is it going to work, though? Can I first start with um, calling to change the some terminologies used? What's, what's been used so far in the media and at the university describing the situation that the, the, there is low enforcement against the students, and that itself misleading. Those are security forces, and between the security forces and uh, uh, low uh, um, uh, enforcement, there is a huge difference. By using low enforcement, we are basically de delegitimize what the people are doing, which is the right demonstrate and express their um, freedom. So I think I'm calling to change the terminology in the media, including the TRT, to use security forces, because these are not law enforcement, those are security forces. Number two, I think the administration is, is trying to mislead the public by saying that this is not representing the majority of the Americans. That's correct. But who's representing the American uh, majority? The, the other groups? Of course not. Um, what they are doing now is demonizing everything happened, supporting the Palestinian of Gazan people, uh, criticizing the uh, aggression of the Israelis against the civilian in Gaza. And everyone who criticized that is being demonized. I think it's obvious that people now is becoming very aware that there is a, a discrimination, there is a paradise, a paradise state basically is, is waging war against the civilians. More than 35,000 people were killed. Half of them children and more, more than half of them children and women, and more than 75 percent are injured, and more than um, uh, 78 percent of the uh, Gaza Strip is being destructed. So I think what's been happening at the university is a clear message, and we know that there's happening in the UK and the France to the politicians that what you are doing in the last seven months was actually wrong. You are supporting the uh, uh, aggression of the Israelis. You are not taking into consideration the interest of the people of their your own countries. Um, and as long as you do this, we will be criticizing them. What the governments and their arms are doing is demonizing this. I'm not sure this will lead to stop this demonstration. Actually, the opposite. They are actually pushing people to have more demonstration, more criticism to the politician of their failure to uh, highlight morals over, over uh, self-interest. Right. Uh, as you mentioned, when we did see the LAPD make their way towards uh, the encampment area of UCLA, we did see uh, people, especially online, calling for members of the public to make their way to the university to protect the demonstrators that have been there uh, for days now. Do you think that this would turn into a wider mu movement? I think I think it will it will move gradually because we, so far in the last 10, 10 days we witnessed the uh, I would say the expansion of this from different universities across the, the United States and across the Europe as well. And I think we will may meet this more with a society movement from public uh, to support the university. I think there is a great uh, awareness now of what's happening in Gaza. And there is a great awareness that there is, there is a, a, a lack of, of morals. There is absence of, of, of a, a serious politicians who want to uh, uh, stop uh, uh, this uh, war. And I think uh, I would expect we, we will see more in other universities in the United States and in other states, I mean, in the, in the, in, on the level of the public uh, behavior itself. Right, and talk to us about how strong of a lobby Israel has within the United States, where we've come to the point uh, of witnessing scenes similar to what we're seeing on our screens. Um, and we're seeing the university administrators not engage with the uh, pro-Palestine demonstrators at all to reach some sort of an agreement. You know, let's start with the TikTok uh, law, uh, which basically the Congress has approved, so they can basically put a, give six months to TikTok to decide. There was a great change within the American public opinion since the second week of this uh, war against Gazan civilians. And I think that was uh, a wake up call to the lobby in, in the United States to do something. And I think they start to demonize TikTok and then trying to move towards, uh, um, uh, I would say, using tough hand against 
any kind of opposition uh, 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 against the war on, on Gaza. Of course, uh, that delayed uh, any action from Biden administration uh, um, and make it more hesitant on pressuring uh, the Israelis. And they support um, the Israel with more than now $40 uh, billion, uh, 40 billion dollars, uh, in the last seven months. And I think that itself, uh, as, a, as, a, as a result of the pressure of this uh, lobby, the, the, the third tool they used uh, basically is trying to demonize uh, any kind of social movement within the student or within the journalism uh, sector uh, that they have even a balanced position toward Gaza. And they try to demonize people and call them anti-Semitic and, and all of this, trying to uh, basically scare them uh, and trying to uh, basically put them in a situation that they, ha they cannot have this position. And those three to tools um, have not succeeded. And the evidence is what we are watching now on your screen and, and other, uh, uh, other states. Uh, it seems that the people, they become more uh, aware of this and they become more uh, knowledgeable about the, all of this effort and they are reacting to this now. So there is a, a great confrontation going on in a very peaceful manner. And I think what we are seeing now in, in uh, what happened in Colombia and other universities is a sign of, of lack of patience uh, on the side who are supporting the Israelis. They don't want this to expand. The more it expands, the more it will be anti-Israelis. And now with all of these steps, they try to demonize people. I think this will never succeed, and it will lead to a serious change within the American politics and society, n not necessarily in recent uh, days or months, but in, in, in long, medium term, there will be a lot of change uh, uh, when it comes to the Palestinian issue. Right. Let's talk a bit about the reason why these protests are underway. I mean, uh, these demonstrators are calling first and foremost for their institutions to divest, um, but also they want to see a free Palestine. That's one of the main slogans that they've been using over the last couple of days. Uh, they want to see a permanent ceasefire. Uh, they want to see the occupation end, the siege of Gaza end. Uh, speaking of uh, a ceasefire, give us some information on the latest round of negotiations between Hamas and Israel. Uh, I mean, they haven't been able to reach an agreement, given that both sides want very different things. What we know so far, that Wednesday, that which was yesterday night, um, uh, uh, Israel should receive something, a response from Hamas. Uh, what we gathered this morning, that there is uh, um, some uh, leaking from Israel talks about the uh, Israelis is willing to give more concession when it comes to Netzerim, which basically uh, withdrawing the um, Israeli forces from uh, that region, which basically separating Gaza uh, to south and north. And I think that itself is a sign because that's one of the main conditions to Hamas and also uh, allowing uh, Gaza to go to the north. What we are witnessing in the recent days, which is uh, maybe is not being highlighted on the level of the statements, but, uh, I mean press statements, but in reality we are witnessing a lot of um, Gazan returning to the north, um, um, hundreds maybe or thousands, in a very individual, I would say, basis. Um, and that itself may be an Israeli um, step to release the pressure on that and, and saying actually they are doing something to allow the Gazan to go to the north. What is, what, is, what is clear that um, Hamas is not ready to accept any deal unless uh, uh, allows the Palestinian to go to the north of Gaza and, uh, easily without any kind of restriction, and the second one ending the war. And until now, uh, there is a huge confrontation within Israeli politics. It's obvious that Netanyahu is leading the opposition. He doesn't want to cease fire because it means, as everyone knows now, it ends his political future mm -hmm. and his, his political career. Um, and he insisting on, on continuing the war. And I think um, with all of these uh, movements across uh, the globe, uh, this the, the reflection will be on, 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 him, on him and on Israel, because those countries cannot cope with this demonstration for a long time. And they will give, uh, they, will, they will reflect on the Israeli, if, if not already done, mm -hmm. they will reflect on the Israeli politics today or tomorrow to pressure Netanyahu to do something so they can uh, basically 
uh, see less demonstration on their, on their cities because none of those governments in Europe and America wants this because all of them, they have loads of problems, economic, political, social right. problems. They don't need another issues on their list. All right, Professor Mahjoub Zawadi, thank you so much for being with us here on TRT World and sharing that analysis with us. I appreciate it. Thank you.